Hello YouTubers, this is Wolf359 coming to you with a new video. We're going to talk about how to install Plex on TrueNAS Scale. Yes, there is multiple videos out there of everybody installing Plex on TrueNAS Core, TrueNAS Scale. But what we're going to do, we're going to be installing it on TrueNAS Scale on Electric L2410.1. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do it like our usual. We're going to set up a data set. We're, I'm going to walk through. I've done it, done it. I was doing it on my older, my other main server. This is the test server we're doing it on. So we're going to do it on here. Uh, just trying to switch things over. So we got true NAS. So we're going to add in four different data sets. So we're going to call this apps. Or we can call it config. We're just going to give it names, but we'll know what we want to set it to. Yeah, we'll call this one configs. Uh, we'll call the next one data. data Let's save that now we're going to call this one trans code I need one more I'm just going to call it storage Okay, now we got that all set up. I already have a media set with two movies in it right now. But uh, we're going to come over, we're going to come down to apps, we're going to discover apps, go into Plex, go install. And so we're going to run on the latest version, uh, claim. So, claim that I've found out is you're claiming your Plex app, Plex still. So you'll have to claim it if something ever happens and all that. I had an issue one time where I wasn't able to claim, so I had to go into Plex.tv and go to port slash claim and be able to get the token to put in. So I'm able to do that. But right now we're going to go through, we're going to leave everything the same, but we're going to come here. We're just going to leave everything the same, uh, but we're not going to do it like everybody shows online. Everybody else online shows just doing doing it one way. So we're going to do that. Uh, host. So that's what it was. It was logs. I couldn't really remember, but who cares? Uh, this one was config. So we're going to do our config. This one's going to be our storage, so we're going to go to host bath Te test plex and storage transcode. Transcode will keep all your transcoding everything. So if you have a GPU set to it and doing a GPU on true NAS is pretty darn cool and easy. Not bad. Other ways, it's kind of hard. So I'll show you how to do that. So we're gonna pass through. Not I don't have a GPU on here, but it's pretty simple to get a GPU set up for for your TrueNAS server. Usually installing TrueNAS, tr the Plex on TrueNAS doesn't take as long while we're doing it. Uh, shouldn't take too much long, but we'll come right back to it once it's finished. 
all right it is finished and we're gonna let it up load up so what I'm talking about on doing the GPU trying to figure out control uh, I'm trying to remember where to go to uh, just give me a little bit huh. okay that's new I'm pretty much lost. Oh Lord, I'm lost on this. <laughs> I don't mean to be lost, but oh Lord. I, it's usually simple how to find services. Nope. And, oh, there we go. Advanced settings. Oh, Lord. So, yeah, we'll come down here to advanced settings. My bad. I am sorry, y'all. I am very sorry. I'm being bum fuzzled today. I got so much on my mind that I got to get done after this. So, we'll come down here, config, and we'll choose a, C a GPU that we have installed. It'll be there. One, one click done. Other ways, you have to go into the shell, type in, start the server restart start stop so forth but uh, the one thing I did forget we're gonna go back into the Plex and we're gonna come down to where we did all this and we're gonna add in additional storage because this will tell us our host path so we're gonna go forward slash media and we're gonna tell TrueNAS and tell Plex, hey, this is media. We're going to update that. I forgot about doing that, but the one thing you want to do, do it that way. Uh, there's new ways you can do it with Samba through this because it gives you the option for Samba. 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 However you want to say it. I'm not going to disagree how everybody wants to say it. But we got it all set like that. I already have a Plex that's going on. I should be able to start up another one. We'll just use my original. Got it. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, we'll give this a new name. It should come up like this for everybody. We'll call this test one. And everybody should know how to start up the Plex account, the Plex app and all that but if you don't I'm gonna still walk through it no matter what and everything I didn't really give it so we're gonna give it a library I'm gonna say movies I'm gonna go next browse we're gonna find that media folder so we got media movies two movies I'm gonna add that so add library we're going to add another library. We can change that name if we wanted to. So we can come here, go to movies, and go old movies. We can call it whatever. I'm, we're just going to leave it as is. We can do advanced features, scanning, so forth, cinema trailers, use original, original trailers, anything, show trailer, only show trailers, allow red band, trailers you name it you, uh, it gives you a lot on here I don't want to do get Plex app but we're gonna get that all set up here's my other server we're gonna go into my test so we're not seeing that so we got all set up 
and everything. So I have multiple servers. I'll this server won't be up and everything, but we're gonna get out of it. So I do not get demonetized by showing anything fast. I hope I don't get demonetized by showing those because I know they just came out. But uh, that's pretty much it on True Nav. True Naz setting up Plex. Uh, it's pretty much straightforward. If you don't ever have a server set up for for Plex and all, you won't have all this other. You'll have all this other, but you won't have like what I have, multiple multiple servers set up. So we got tests. We got home, but mm, this test will be gone once I get everything done, so we won't have this no more. Uh, you can come over in Plex and say you added more movies, so forth. So, uh, yeah, we're not doing it through Samba, Samba, so you would like I have mine set up for all mine. all my files, cartoon movies, so forth, that away. So I have this one set up for movies. What we're doing, we're using file browser to do it. So I got set up media, movies. There's my two movies. So we got it set up through file browser to be able to use file browser to move, manage, so we can add create a new folder we'll call it we'll call it cartoons so we got cartoon cartoon movie cartoons movies so forth so if we came back over to our plex came over to test one and we want to add in some movies next well let's go back go we'll call it cartoons so it's shared as that how I have mine set up so we'll come back over we'll come over to media there's cartoons we're gonna add cartoons add that library bam there's no movies in it right now so we're good there we can add movies using file browser and all being able to add in cartoons so you can come here click we can go I'll make a video on file browser we can go upload we can go download but if we wanted to upload a file and go to just say my media go to cartoons Go to an old movie right there. We'll go open. It'll start transferring over. And then uh, Plex. If this is your first time setting up Plex and you only have one server, you need to go over and set everything up where this is all set up. And different features you do you can buy in for Plex deal remote access general so like you have DVR settings yeah sub transcoding but you do need Plex pass for transcoding. Uh, like, yeah, transcoding. I always have it set to automatic on that. Uh, updating, you won't because I'm trying to find the updates to update the library here. Library scan, you scan, scan the library automatically. Run a so forth all this I would pretty much preset anything that you can for this to uh, 
scan the library. So our movie's already set up, so we're going to come back. We're going to come back to our test. Come. Oh, we'll just keep on going back. Here we scan library, scanning, bam, we have our movie. But it's only set up hour, hour, hourly to see what movies. It's not set up to automatically scan when a new movie's placed down. So it's just running that away. But we have it all set that way. You can do it either way you want to. You can set up a, a Samba share. Or you do it through file browser. So, hey, you got a friend that has movies that you want. You can get them to be able to share the videos with you and put them in your files, so forth. That you have it. Like I have mine set up because I do start. I, I'm a Trekkie. I'll admit that I like my Star Trek movies, but we have a friend that does Star Trek. And all that, so I get them to upload all the Star Trek movies and whatnot to mine that I don't have. So we just share movies, what we have in between. Uh, if there's anything else, uh, anybody needs any kind of questions asked or whatnot, I'm out. I'm always there. Uh, just shoot me a message. Uh, but hey, this is Wolf359 signing off. Please like, share, and subscribe on this. But if there's any other move, any other not movies, but any other deals y'all want me to look at and try to do and all that, I'll be glad to get out there and get it done. This just came to mind today to get do the plex because it's just been on my list to do. Thank y'all, and y'all have a great day.